Hi friend. So before I start writing the CSS selectors, first I want to show you what is the right platform to write and verify CSS selectors. Region, because most of the time, like we all say that we should write our own selector. But what if we write right selector? I mean correct selector but if we are verifying it at wrong place which is giving the wrong result that doesn't make sense so for that we should understand that what is the right platform which will give you give us the right and correct results there are multiple ways the very first thing whenever we say that we should write our own selectors we basically say that yes we will build our own selector and then we will verify it in browser tab tools but what are the misconception and the uh, like wrong things which we have learned due to lack of innovation in the past so let me show you the browser tab tools one so suppose for an example if we have to find out all the all the let's say drop downs we have to find out which are built with select tag okay so what we do uh, those who are not aware about select tag so basically select tag in html is used to build the drop downs okay i will explain a little bit about html as well just before that i will show you that what are the wrong things which we get from dev tool by using dev tools so whenever someone asks us like how many select tags are there in this page so how do we verify that we verify like this select as a uh, in the previous lecture i have uh, taught you guys that we can also write select uh, css selector with tag name so this is one of the example so here we have written the tag name select so if you see that it is showing six matching nodes this is how chrome dev tools or any browser dev, dev tools used to show one of six so basically it is showing six matching nodes but here you will have to understand that this is not the uh, tool to verify css selectors only or xpath only it also works on string matching functionality string match basically search functionality which we used to call so if you see that this select is matching with this string so that is the reason that it is showing one of match then if you press enter it will go to the next next and you will not find anywhere select tag over here in this DOM. Right. So this is giving basically the wrong result. And in fact, like if you start typing a wrong selector, then it will not tell you that this is wrong. It will just say zero of zero matching node. So neither you are able to learn nor nor you are able to verify the right selectors or in fact like in some cases even if you feel that you have written the right selector as well then also it doesn't give you the result like for in case of this element if you inspect this element from here and you see that it is giving uh, here if we write with id if you remember i have showed you guys there's a function if id value is there we use hash and then id value input it is showing zero of zero so this we cannot verify so a lot of things which we have learned as a like wrong concepts the second thing we can uh, some people use and i mean not very much aware is the con console document dot query selector and there we can write css selector yes this is another way but the problem with this like every time you have to come and go back and here you will have to type that complete command document dot query selector every time which again takes a huge amount of time and here you can write your selector so like this way but this will give the right result but the problem with this is like every time you will have to go back here and see or you can also open it here but but problem with this like again if you are in case of like this kind of element that you cannot verify here as well like uh, in case of shadow dom and all you cannot verify even in console as well easily there are ways but not easy straightforward way you can verify you see that it is giving zero while this is there so 
problems are there misconception wrong results we used to get not the right results we are getting then what is the right platform to verify right platform is selector sub let me uh, <clears throat> show you how easily and what right result you will get it before that uh, first you will have to install selector hub this one this is a browser extension which is available for all the browsers so how to install let us first install it just go to selectorsub.com or just google selector sub you will get that and here you see chrome firefox edge opera whichever browser you want it is available with the similar functionality whatever i will show you guys this is absolutely free available for all the browser you can just install click on chrome let's say I, i'm just giving the demo on chrome so here you click on add to chrome it's a single click uh, installation click on add to chrome and once it is added you will find it here and this is highest rated and in fact the best css selector tool in chrome and in any browser store in fact you if you search for css selector it comes on top so basically this is a uh, fundamental and standard tool for css selector after adding if you see that it will not show here by default extension icon will show here so you will have to pin to toolbar once you pin it will come here now let's see do the same thing and after installation i would request you that you re refresh the page or restart and don't try it on blank tab like many times people try it like this they feel that this is google.com but you see there is no url so you will have to open google.com make sure you have open so i will show on the same page here on test project website right click on inspect you will see left side dom is there on the right side there are a couple of tabs you will not f see immediately selectors up here click on these two arrow icons selectors up will be the last time or you can do one thing you can expand it here you will see that it is here and then you can take it back now here we have written like you see double uh, we have written this select css selector right paste this same thing over here and verify that how many select tags are there on this page there are actually zero there is no drop down with select tag if you have written anything wrong it will teach you that forward slash not allowed invalid css selector so all that you would be able to learn and verify this is right concept and right way to uh, write and verify css selector and in case of like uh, shadow dom and all this also you would be able to verify you will see that whatever we were not able to do here you can do it here like here you write hashtag and in fact like it used to auto suggest uh, in the drop down as well so you can take it here you can verify that so this way this is the right platform basically to write and verify css selector selector sub okay so hope you uh, install it and now let's in the next tutorial we will learn how to write css selector by using css selectors different functions and more things thank you